Right. Uh, if you guys can please refer to the stream for the card draw that's about to happen. We're refreshing it now. We're oh, seeing wow. The draw. Okay. The, okay. We see 1949 D28 on the board. We see and Paradox you see, you D28 see on the board. You see Edison's well beloved Paradox. <laughs> let's, uh, remind. well, let's, yeah, let's keep it quiet so Adam doesn't know this, exactly which one's to ban. Because I'm level, sure both of us know exactly what Edison wants to keep. The level of draws was 25 to 28, and we see. Yeah, the minimum was 25, and there only is 125. One on the board. Cell in shambles, seeing his. <laughs> Favorite Kaguzu S25 on the board. Let's see what bans. Dang, Paradox getting banned. Adam banning Paradox. Yeah. Not giving it to Edison. <laughs> and now Edison naturally would want to ban the other one, right? Let's see. Gentleman's agreement. But even then, you got the monstrous new Kaguzu 27 to play, which that in of itself. Oh, man. Yeah, could There's be. There's still another ban phase coming after this. That's right. Oh, Bronx okay. Sky. I'll think instead to take out. Okay, well, there's no way this survives, right? Unless they did a gentleman's agreement to try to have like a mash fest. I mean, uh, wait, who let this for... card draw? Wow, who saw this and thought it was okay? I think for SD1212, it's are you banning D28 or Kugutsu? No or way! Or Shop D27 getting banned. And now it's up to Edison, HDS, PIU to decide what needs to go. How many rerolls do the players have left? I'm kind of curious. HDS has one reroll left. There's no way they let uh, this stay. Yes. Edison yeah. still getting one ban, but really thinking. No way! Kutsu S25 going. We're going to see some very intense starts coming up. SD1212 protecting 1950. Really interesting choice there. And now it's up to HDS to decide what they're playing first. Oh, wait, no. Uh, Edison still gets a redraw. Or, sorry, HDS oh, yes, still yeah. gets a redraw. He, he could, he could re-roll. I, re I believe he has not yet redrawn. So... That's correct. Are we really about to see a mashing, mashing circus? Between this 28 and this 27? Oh, man. Oh, man. Rerolls that gets chaos again, 26. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Everybody's laughing. This pool looks disgusting. Okay, but Edison HDS keeping error code. Recall, last, uh, last time Can Edison was in Boston. Wait. You got, if you guys get your clip, if you guys get the scores, we're letting you keep it. We're turning off the no, it, that's out. That's out. It got rewarded. Thank God. Yeah, we're gonna turn off event mode. Hope we don't see any 51 missed combos. But uh, huh? You get disqualified. <laughs> <laughs> no 51 missed combos can be Yeah, surely here. these, surely these players don't end up with that. You know what'd be really funny? Edison just throws everything to bring it into grand, ultimate Stop. grand finals where Adam and Edison are both in losers just for his chance to get Paradox no. again. <laughs> That's true. HDS is yeah. coming in with no losses the entire tournament. In, in so, sets. right. If you guys are unfamiliar with the tournament format, in grand finals, one person comes from losers finals and one person comes from winners finals. Shout out to the camera with that insane focus, by the way. Wow. That's pretty crisp. Oh my god. That was really crispy. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting like 4K, 4K GTX Edison right there. But uh, I need to get that skincare routine. Yeah. Jeez. I, Man's looking fresh. Yeah, but uh, I was gonna say, uh, loser, the person who comes from losers, uh, as it is a double elimination bracket, Edison needs to lose this set in order for Adam to win grand finals. So Edison needs to lose one, and then they're both in the losers bracket, which would then be grand finals two. And that's assuming that Edison is gonna let Adam have it, obviously. And to give you a little bit of background on Edison and this D27 specifically, in Boston Innovated, he was seemingly two or one note away. And when we came to see him in New York last year of, uh, of the, during the summer, once again at CTF, 
getting just one or two nor notes short of error code. And as of then, I'm not sure if uh, HCS ended up getting the victory, or sorry, the pass for error code, but this is the place to see it. No, he's, he's, he's studied this chart. He knows how it goes. He knows what to expect. It's just a matter of cranking out that ending. I think the most terrifying part is seeing his combo rack up as the tar progresses too. Knowing yeah. that he's full sending every little piece, even though the ending is the most disastrous thing to try to clear. Yeah. But typically it's very typical of Sunny charts is to expect a really huge combo and then just a random just a random miss at the or sorry, a uh, random stage break at the end. Just because of the way that difficulty is distributed. So just to give you guys a little background on the TO side of things, we have pulled up the top 100 score for error code. And if he wants to get on the leaderboard, the score to beat is 9-7 against Happy Feats. Full life bar, very comfortable. Ah, uh, a little bit of a drop. Yeah, what's really scary about this upcoming section is seeing that miss combo from just missing one bracket. Building the overflow back, though. Look at the bracket technique on the pad camera. Very nice overflow going into... Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, uh, able to keep him up all the way into the leader section. Or sorry, not leader, a uh, leakage voltage run. If Edison is able to make this push here, the entire venue concentrating so closely to the screen. Nice, manages to keep it. Manages to keep it. That's a hold that just disappears and can, if you miss it, you just end up with a random miss combo, which can really trump your progress in this. This pass. is where it needs to happen. But now he's got enough overflow for this section. Now going into the bracket drill section here. He's able to find the anchors on the blue blues very comfortably. Keeping that overflow for the final run. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, getting these rolling brackets right there. Oh. Oh. So close, he picks up the nine combo miss towards the end. Coming right. in full overflow. What an excellent play. <laughs> And the score to beat is a 9.48 on error code D27. Right. <laughs> Everyone just and <laughs> hunching forward towards the screen uh, and captivated by the performance they are witnessing. Uh, if it was a pass, that would have been between 6th and 7th place. Right. Beneath RSS, I believe, right? Yes. But it's, yeah. Very close to a triple A plus. Yeah, failing it out so SD1212 can get this performance on his card in, in case the clear comes out. Really hoping that the, really hoping that we get to see a clear. Boy. Yeah, so just getting a little bit of player insight. Adam never playing this in Phoenix, so he's Phoenix, not really aware of. Yeah, previously only playing it for the clear. Admitting that uh, he has not made it that far before. Right. But, but familiar once again, with the in a tournament now. format, uh, SC1212 could actually opt to completely, really full send it in the beginning, right before the 27 mess actually appears. To potentially, at the very least, get the edge on scoring. Kind of makes you wonder at the same time. I mean, they have this uh, best of five that's going to be massive undertaking to come even find your way through. If you feel like you're staggering behind a tiny bit in the uh, first chart, do you still try to full send it for the audience? That's the question.
mentally, it seems like it's kind of a good benefit to keep your mentality up if you don't walk off. But man, is it more tiring to full set. <laughs> if you feel like you're behind, it's kind of a strong undertaking. And introduces some mental load. Let's see SD1212 getting into this. Okay, an early miss here, but it's okay. There's still a lot of room in the future of this chart to try to make up for that. Nice. It looked like his foot was already anticipating the bracket there. The bracket into the drill. Bit of the shuffling yeah, the, pull, the hold pattern there. Yeah, the hold pattern there causing you to do a little bit of an inner twist. Both players instead opting to hit it, hit that with their uh, bracket that inner twist in the half. Okay, manipulating nice the stairs here. Yeah, getting a lot of bad judgments. So in a tournament setting, it's going to be a little bit rough. But really, what we're excited to see is uh, SD one two one two nailing this clear right. Might be past mentality at this point. Uh huh. Absolutely. Hmm. Be a little too slow on that. The section is so volatile. You can see the health bar dip, oh. but he's made it through the section. Gets a little bit of life bar potion back. Gets the. Uh, Take a little bit of a breather until once again that leakage, that ah. leakage both this section. He can build it back. This is the place to build it. But the further section up here is, this part is also really difficult with how many jumps you have to do. Really nice. manipulation to try to make it through. Manipulation. Probably trying to give you a lot of health, but just not quite enough. It looks like he was tripped up by that bracket section. Yeah. Adam opting instead to hop through these brackets. Try to save as much as he can. For the coming plays. Kind of just look at him slowly bouncing up and down. how it comes out it is such a huge ask to be able to make it that far in the chart but not even that but also be playing this much into the tournament coming back from losers yes. having to play consecutively and consecutively hds actually being kind enough to want to play first in uh favor of adam as a higher seed could actually make him play uh you know play first but yeah, no, it, it's often the case I notice HDS is uh Being a real gentleman, trying to let all players have a chance here. He does have a slight bias towards going first in tournament settings. I feel right. like it maybe affects mental if uh, you see the score that's left up before you. Hey, why don't you just get up and dance, man? Excellent question. Uh, Up but, next is 1950, double 27. This is SD1212's Protect. Right. Which was really weird because um, I was definitely not expecting of all the charts this to be one of them. So I'm really excited to see how Adam actually tries to play. Another shout out to the camera zooming in with that insane Crisp. focus. Man, Crisp. what? I wish, honestly, I wish you got to see more of that camera. Look how nice it looks, dude. Beautiful. <laughs> Nice showcase of our top seed, HDS. Leaning in for those. Um, 1950, double 27. Yeah. <laughs> As he's made aware of the next chart that needs to be played, grimacing a little bit. 
I believe shaking this was head. I believe this was the song that Edison actually decided to drop way back in Boston Innovative. Um, he some, uh, putting yeah. somewhere in the middle yeah. in, in favor of Paradox. Well, that's because he wanted to play Paradox. Oh! Right, right. But no, no. And so I wanted was, to. Co- he was. This is a continuation of the story. What if? Uh, uh, I don't know if Edison studied this chart at all, but what if he oh, yeah, somehow he, manages to come it out, he, come out on top with this? He has studied it, and the reason why he dropped the ending was solely because he had already failed the chart, mm. and he just wanted to keep playing. So as long as we see his life bar not touch zero, he's going to give us the strongest showing possible. Really excited to see. Just a, a lot of those Howard Rabbit Coaster jumps here, followed by brackets in the middle of them. Recall that a eighth note jump at 200 BPM wow. is ba- a series of eighth note jumps is basically a 16 note run. <laughs> All right, he, he got the funny foot. He got the funny foot. Yep. Hitting the stinky leg in order to get that quad hey, combo. It makes it a lot easier than trying to pigeon tail that. Absolutely. Wow. Wow. Oh Excellent my. pattern manipulations. This section seems like it's a rest, but it actually just keeps on going. It's so rough. You still have to yank yourself across. With all that bra- rolling bracket tech in the middle, Oh, okay. Instead of heel tapping it with his left yeah, foot, yeah, I to bracket it with his right foot. Excellent More ergonomic choice. that way. Let's watch this final push. He needs to try to keep the life bar. A few misses here and there, but life bar is still in Still life. full life bar. And it's too ah, early. It's too much. Keeps the hold this time. Yeah, He's go. just going to keep that score solid. Excellent push. Yeah. I think he saw on the life bar. D, yeah, on a D, uh, D27, having a score like 914, that's crazy. Edison once yeah. again grabbing onto his chest. He said that hurts. <laughs> Bracing yeah. the pain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, now, that hurts. Well, here is what I'm really excited about. Adam clearly, he protected this for a clear re- He protected this very promptly, actually. So are we going to see Adam showing us how it's done? I Yeah, he's got to He's going to fill it out and get it on his card. Let's see, it's his protect. It is terrifying to see over a 900k score right. on a D27. When most people would just be going for a clear. I feel like it's more traditional to see clears coming out from the, what, 880k range and up. Especially from that of an extremely high level when a lot of pro players would be saving stamina for the most difficult segments of the charts. And just to keep up, they would completely manipulate the beginning parts, not really caring about accuracy, just kind of eating through everything. Uh, quick look at the leaderboard. A 914, if it was a clear, would have put HDS at uh, just under win force. Wow, at enemies place. at fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I feel like he was looking at his life bar going into the ending run, feeling like that's not enough. Mm-hmm. Feeling the pain in his chest, uh, you know, trying to full send that. Imagine it though, doing just a little bit less than the creator of the chart himself. Inspiring, so inspiring. Best of luck to SD1212 getting started on this card.
Trying to mash through these jumps here. That must be so draining. Ah, uh, the uh, life touch. I wonder what the strat is then. I, knowing that you're dead, how do you play for the accuracy? He faces Both the opposite toes. way. Right, angled together. Wow. Look at the way his toes were angled, really anticipating the uh, turns, changing the turns in this front. The chart really just doesn't stop after, even after the drop. There's no place in this chart to catch your breath. Not even here because of all the rolling brackets. Wow. Just combo Life through bar. that sequence. Yeah, the push here is going to be really, really hard. Getting the big juicy hold at the end. Will that be enough? Claire Honestly, to me, it looked like an 8-6 or so. Yeah, 8-5. Eight, eight, Very close guess. Nice. All right. All. <laughs> People taking note of the funny number. <laughs> the number that brings going to billions across the world. Thumbs up from HDS. <laughs> Telling us now we get a showing of one of the new push. Phoenix boss charts. Really exciting. Oh yeah. And if uh, FT1212 is able to take it, then we get yet another <laughs> Phoenix boss chart. Man. All right, and now to warm up, he will now beat Repentance T26. Never mind, <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> Game over. Fighting into the star. For those of you guys who are unaware of the BPM changes in this chart, I can help keep track. <laughs> hey, he doesn't have a clear on it yet. At least not on his card. Understandable. This is one. <laughs> this is quite a mean 26, especially towards the ending. Making the player play extremely impossible twists at 2.30 BPM. Twists that are hard at even like 160. We'll see if he has the ability to be able to manipulate that ending. Taking some deep breaths. Probably still feeling it from the other D27 monumental charts he's been trying to clear as well earlier in this set. Extremely excited to see one of these new charts. Not sure if he has ever played this chart either, but... On my way to see HQ for real! <laughs> Alright, very nicely hitting that skateboard drill. You can see through his footwork that he's sight reading this, but still... <laughs> Incredibly nice catches. Nice little half run here. Nice. Wanna have a little bit of an M run pattern here. We're on to the setup for the final. Going to be around 180, 190 BPM until it reaches the drop. The crowd behind him emulating the Chaos Again dance. Here we go, 200 BPM run here with anchors. Cell in the background is way to CHQ. Look at the footwork cam on the pads. All right, 210 bracket tech with a lot of hold, or sorry, half runs. 
Life Force starting to dip. He's almost there! Oh! He's oh! Almost, almost, almost. Really rough section here. 150 BPM climbing up into 180 territory soon. TP's going to have what it takes to finish it off here. 220, ah. 230. Ah, and then 260. Wow. Yo, was that a sight read? <laughs> oh, played Never it a couple mind. times. Played it twice. Yeah. Man, but making it through the 210 BP, uh, the tech BPM section is insane. That in of itself is its own 26, honestly. Stage cleared, but not really. Okay, yeah, Etude, one, two, one, two, Etude warm up as, as we are about to see. Ah, missing the first couple of notes. It's okay, ah. there's still a lot of space to make back. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, shout out to HDS if he had the clear there. That would have been sixth in the world of a total of uh, 12. Nah, we, we can't reported. trust that. <laughs> of course. Wait, look at the bottom. There's like a bunch of like past 800s. Yeah, an 857. Yeah, score. they definitely played that with two people. Yeah, but uh, sitting just behind Sanctus, Elio, Sama, Yuta, RSS, and Fefens. Very empty top 100 leaderboard, yeah. understandably. It's a pretty recent boss chart. Yeah. Not only does recency affect how many people play it, but also how difficult it is. Like, having to go through that base the challenge of a 26. Let's see if SD1212 can beat the 934. And really curious how he plays this. Get himself on the top 100 leaderboard, seeing clear. Wow! Okay. Look at how high he's bouncing himself up. Very confidently hitting those brackets inside of the run. He doesn't want it to end here. Absolutely. No! No. Oh, that's so tragic to see that drop there. What will be really exciting to see here going forward, though, is whether or not he would have made the clear had he not gotten that drop, right? Oh, it's heartbreaking either way. Absolutely. But good for a future reference if he decides to play this on his own pad and stream, by the way, twitch.tv slash All right, we're about to have more people going to CHQ. <laughs> the, homies are the homies are congregating at CHQ. <laughs> Live footage of me running towards the HQ. Some of the anchors yeah, looks are like not he's out of energy going. here. Yeah. Oh! Gonna give it a attempt. Ah! Oh, sees the staircases and. Gets a little bit tripped up. It's been a long day. Yeah, just like the guy in the BGA, we're not going home. <laughs> Good night. And with that, we're gonna see the final score and make it official. With an 8 2 1, that means HDS yeah. takes it 3 0. Big ups to HDS for making it first yet again, but also. Not to overshadow SD1212's fantastic second place performance. An awesome, awesome showing. Coming uh, second place in a tournament where we had four double X expert three players.
Yeah, a little unfortunate to see showing. 4199 drop out of the tournament a little bit yeah. too early. Regardless, yeah. we still had monster players like Cell. Oh, we're getting the victory lap. Let's, uh, let's go, Etude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I think, uh, you know, when you're in multiple tournaments and you have to full send so many charts. Yeah, right? Uh, it was kind of a blessing for SD1212 in that uh, having to play so many charts, clawing his way up from loser's bracket. And it seems like uh, we're about to get into a winner's thanks announcements. For all, thanks to all the competitors yeah. for competing in the Pump It Up tournament at Guac 7. Uh, everyone gave us a really good show. But uh, we're here to award some prizes to the winners. No, this is not for speaker. This is for stream. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Like, we can hear it. It's good. Yeah. Anyways. In, in third place. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little bit of shuffling going around as we are uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> getting our... Happy birthday. Cell's yeah. birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday to Cell. I believe it happened two days ago. Uh, run winners. Happy birthday to Cell. Potentially even yesterday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Excellent. dear. Place, it's pretty yeah, ambiguous, SD but everyone is celebrating the entire weekend anyway. SD1212 with the second place finish. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to Adam. Happy birthday to Adam. My, yet, again, yet again, another one of my birthday presents. I got him. Yo, Adam, happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, Adam. Congratulations again. Yeah. And the absolute <laughs> phenom. We have Edison in first place. HDS. Yeah, you. Yo, happy Edison, happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, Edison. <laughs> Awesome. Smiling for the camera. Congratulations again to all of our winners and everyone for participating in the tournament.